Hi everyone, Mrs. Rubino here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, blood clots, also called deep vein thrombosis. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about excess fluid in the, the legs and the feet, and that's going to be considered edema, and how we get rid of these things, okay, or how do we prevent them. Now, there's two ways. Um, that we're going to be dealing with where we actually have to put a product or a machine on the individual. We're not talking medication wise, we're talking physical things. So the first thing I want to show you is the stockings here. These stockings are called TED stockings. Um, most of the time we know them as TED stockings, but they're also called anti-embolism stockings. Anti-embolism means um, they do not, anti is against, and emboli or embolism would be more or less a clot. So what happens with these stockings, they're compression stockings. Now a lot of you might hear that, um, you see it on TV that a lot of athletes and whatnot wear these compression stockings, and that's great. It helps with the circulation in the legs. So it decreases or prevents any risk of, uh, first of all, getting any kind of blood clot in the leg. Um, because if a blood clot gets in the leg and that blood clot gets dislodged from the leg, it jumps into the circulation and that blood clot can go anywhere in the body. And that can cause a stroke, it can cause a heart attack um, or death. So it's very important that we have to keep an eye on prevention of blood clots and also increased fluid or edema. So edema and DVD, DVT is a deep vein thrombosis. Those are the two main reasons we have to put either uh, the TED stocking or a machine that I'm gonna be talking about as well. So for your question for today, that is what it's going to be. What are the two main reasons you, a patient would have to either wear um, the anti-embolism stockings or the actual machine, okay? Now, in normal life, we would go and have our TED stockings or our anti-embolism stockings. They come in different sizes, so there is a measuring that you would have to do of, of the calf of the patient and that will determine the size of the anti-embolism stockings that the person would get on. These are very tight. These are, again, compression stockings. So when they come on, they're going to feel constricting. And that's the reason. It, they have to because they're pushing circulation. So it's moving. A lot of times these individuals, again, have a history of um, edema, possibly... Um, pulmonary disease, filling up of the, of the lungs. Um, they might even have the history of the DVT. Um, so we have to make sure that we prevent as best as, can, as we can, all right? So in class, I will show basically the skill on how to put one of these stockings on, which is really easy. There's always a hole at the top for the patient's toes so when we have to assess a patient we have to make sure that their toes are not blue or pale make sure that the circulation is in their toes so like I said when we have skills class then I'll be able to show you exactly how to put on a TED stocking so the other thing I wanted to show you today was the actual um, pneumatic compression where when a person goes in the hospital, either for surgery or if they're in bed and they're in, they can't get out of bed and they're immobile, we will go and put one of these on the patients. So what it is, basically, it is these wraps here that are connected to the machine and the machine will go and deliver the compression or massage or compression, whatever you wanna call it, in these um, sleeves, if you will. They just wrap around the patient's leg, and like I said, there's hoses connected, and you connect it to the machine on the bed. 
and this can this is mobile too so you can take this off of the bed and put it on the a stretcher or a wheelchair or whatever um, and this once it's turned on and once it's at the correct pressure that you want it at and that would be a doctor's order then this would go and um, compress and release compress and release on the legs to again, again increase the circulation okay this is another picture of the actual, one of the actual machines themselves. And then this is how it looks, similar to how it looks um, in regards to the pressure and where, where the sleeves are located and kind of go from there. And you can kind of hear it. It kind of sounds a little bit like breathing, if you will, um, when it starts to compress. So. Um, that's about it with, with this video for today. So again, answer that question for me and send it to me. All right. Thanks. Bye.